hey guys so one of my subscribers asked uh, more about this retro looking motorcycle which is called the janus so if you're in america and you want and you don't want uh, a royal and feel or triumph or any other classic looking motorcycle then this is turning out to be a very good new option for the american crowd okay who want to taste uh, histories uh, want to get a taste of the history in the 1920s or 1930s now you see that the classic Royal Enfield Classic uh, is actually uh, a design of the post-war, that is post-Second World War, that is 1940s. But this one, uh, this one, uh, the motorcycle here that we are looking, right? Look at the tank and look at the, uh, you know, the overall design, the chassis, routing and the suspension. So this looks like pure retro, pure 1920s style, okay? The other motorcycle that comes close in this uh, design uh, is another Ural that is a Russian manufacturer. I saw that in US as well that has an opposed that has a boxer engine just like the BW. Since Ural the Russian uh, technology was somehow borrowed from BMW and the German when after World War. Okay, So now uh, this is called the Janus motorcycle. The logo is uh, like uh, the tusk of a walrus you can see here janus motorcycle so i'm showing you the company website of how it rides uh, how it looks while riding because that is what it matters to most of the retro uh, bike lovers that how it looks how it makes you feel okay so uh, janus 450 so this is the janus 450 it's completely hand built it was started in 2011 and uh, it started producing the motorcycles from 2013 okay the company started in 2011 now they have a new model which they have removed few of the things so that it looks a bit uh, it, it it is looking more lean, leaner than before now what point that you want to note here the specific design aspect that i saw is the suspension the rear suspension okay you see how beautifully they have crafted this up below below the retro looking seat that we used to have uh, in our cycles earlier okay now the other thing that you will notice is the front suspension okay now this is something like a rajdut suspension in india okay uh, this is the rear look as you can see the elements of the mudguard below are pure retro okay now this exhaust is looking like a esd java exhaust okay twin exhaust from single cylinder 450 cc okay the engine makes it's a single cylinder it makes 30 bhp of torque uh, 30 bhp of power and torque is mm, they haven't shown what is the torque okay so that's fine uh, for compression ratio okay i don't know what is the torque yeah the other aspect which i was saying is which is pure retro right is this uh, placement of the front suspension you know there is a trailing link type of suspension and it looks real retro real cool i i, I had this in my motorcycle rajdut when i was small my dad used to have it okay and the handlebar okay now you just check uh, the handlebar how wide it is you know so that's like a pure american retro handlebar okay and then this engine okay this 450 cc engine is actually developed so see they need a collaboration for a good engine okay so now they have collaborated with swm okay the swm is an italian uh, motorcycle brand that went bankrupt uh, in 2000 i think somewhere around uh, i'm not sure which year but you can learn about it from the history the point is like this is an italian manufacturer it was restructured in 2014 and they are manufacturing china under strict quality control so this motorcycle right uh, it's a good alternative for Enfields or Triumphs, you know, uh, in US if you want something special because this will be very costly since it's hand built so it is almost like 14-15 thousand uh, dollars. It cannot come to India for sure, okay. But if you are in US or uh, you know if you go to US sometime you can experience this somewhere, okay. Now the other version of this is the Scrambler version which they call the Griffin, okay uh which is basically the scrambler version of this one this motorcycle now this is also very pure retro i mean it, it borrows the elements from its brother the helicon and you can see that all the you know routing has been done just like the triumph scrambler from the side the exhausts are taken from the side 
below the seat, just below the seat on the one side. I will show you. Wait, let me show you this one. Yeah, like this one. Okay. Uh, let me see where is the video. So this is how it rides. You can see the the suspension is on the side, uh, just like the trans camera. Okay. The tank is somewhat now coming differently. It is looking differently than the 1920s style of the Helicon tank. You see uh, the design of the tank here. You see, this is a very old design, 1920s tank design. When when the bikes were literally uh, modified bicycles, okay. When the early bicycle, the early motorcycles came, they were like this. So that's all about this brand, okay. Let me know if you want any other information, and I'll make a video. Thank you.